Hello YouTube, this is Mr. Chris again, and we will be covering Fairy Tale Hundred Year Quest Chapter 124. I believe this came out yesterday. Um yesterday morning, the eleventh. Um at least for what I saw. And also One Punch Man came out last night. But I'm hoping to get this out the twelfth. Need to get this recorded. I already got I had Brent stuff rendering in the background. It's about 12 o'clock. I got work in about 10 hours. Um, so, uh, I'm recording at least four things today. Um, this, uh, this coverage of this chapter, One Punch Man, uh, Rumukun, and My Hero. And then tomorrow, I think we're going to try to catch up on One Piece manga chapters and Sakamo Day's manga chapters. So, these next two days, I'm a day off. I'm also doing a bunch of Roblox and other stuff. Gameplay. I'm hoping to jump back in some games. Uh, otherwise, we're going to jump into chapter 124. At the end of last fairy tale chapter, uh, Sabretooth is inside Lucy's room. Um, so, we'll find out why Sabretooth there. Maybe it's just a visit. Who knows? Fairy Tale Hundred Year Quest Chapter One Twenty Four Five Round Match. That's what the title is. Also, this ugh, I'm I'm, because they are definitely wild cards when it comes to anything. Hear me hitting any buttons? I'm just quickly loading up something. Oh, okay, making sure that's smooth. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh. Let's jump into this. We have a picture of Sting with his arm up. Not yet. Okay, we're straight into it. Them at Lucy's apartment. Why Why are you guys in my room? We have, uh... We have Rogue. We have... I should write down. I should write down these guild members from other guilds. I should absolutely have another page or two of fairy tale characters because I can never remember fairy tale characters for some reason. We have Rogue. We have Froche. We have Lecter. We have Sting. Let's, no, I can't think of the the two women's names. I just can't think. I'll find out here in a second. Why are you guys in my room? Well, it's kind of a long story, but your landlady let us in. <laughs> that was short. Fro thinks so too. We went to see Fairy Tale a few days ago. However, nobody was there. Oh, when the white wizard was controlling everyone. We thought we were careless. We were told to wait a few days and see. When we went looking for our inn, the landlady referred us here. This isn't an inn. Yeah, but they're somewhat friends, if anything. Anyways, I never thought a wizard from the great fairy tale would have a tiny house, a house this tiny. Nobody asked you. It suits me just fine. Speak of what suits you, the underwear in your drawers. Second shelf is quite gaudy. Gaudy is a word I haven't seen in forever. I don't actually think I've seen that written in years. Old books. Don't just. I don't read books all that often anymore. I listen to stuff read to me. It's easier for me. Uh, don't go. Just go looking through here, there. Jeez, how could you go along with this? You can know. I'm sorry, Fro thinks so too. So, ev so is everyone else back? I mean, a lot of stuff happened, but all right. It's been forever since we saw Natsu San, so let's go. I want to see Happy Kun and Carla Kun too. <laughs> Fro does too. Oh, Fro. Uh, Froach. I think I actually have him as a Funko. I, if they have Lecter, I don't have Le Lecter. Uh, I absolutely do not have Sting or Rogue if they are Funkos.
I'm just thinking, yeah, I don't think I do. I think I bought Frosh um, because uh, once in a while I'll see sales of Funkos in different stores, and Frosh was 50% off, so I bought Frosh for like $4, 4 or $5. Well, speak of the devil. We were just talking about you. This is so they're not fairy tale gale. They're reading a paper, and both of them are rogue and uh, Minerva, right? I don't, that took forever for my brain to get that name. Minerva are reading this letter, and here I went and wrote a letter for you. But it seems I was worried for nothing. It's better than uh, that you didn't send this. It looks like you're picking a fight. Writing is terrible. She's never been good with writing, but... Side point. Okay. So we have Makarov not talking. As I recall, Sabretooth has what could be called the greatest library on the continent. So you know about that. The Great Study Hall of Saber is the pride of our historic guild. Yep. You want to conduct research there? It has to do with our job we're on. And we have Gray looking at Frosh just smiling. With like Frosh just smiling. Uh, blushes. Uh, <laughs> don't, don't show such a weird face to Frosh. I'm terribly sorry, but the great study hall of Sabretooth is not open to the public. Come on, don't say that. We're pals after all, right? By the way, what's a library? It's a place... With lots of books. We have one too. Or we used to. Oh, that's cool. You lost interest way too quick. Way too fast. If quick or fast, we'd be fine here. Uh, but it makes sense not to see where we lose entrance. Well, as master, I guess I can let you borrow it just this once. But it's no fun to just give it, to give it for free. How about we decide and... Decided with one match. I'm guessing this is where the title comes in. Uh, the five round match. Yeah! I'm all fired up! Bring it on, Sting! Nah, playing old fight is no fun. You sure? I would love to see you guys actually duke it out. i more than certain not to stronger, but... Even if you mixed it up, it would be great to see. Is it for me? Come on, do your works. So we're down, we're changing things up a bit. We're having a five on five game. The contest of the game changes with each round, but we decide the content and rules. If you guys can beat us three times, we'll lend you the great study hall of Saber. I see. We may be disadvantaged, but they did say it's off limits, so we have no choice. With all that said, you're free to choose whatever member you want. Sounds good. Count me in. I'll do my best. First off, round one, an exceed popularity contest. Presenting Saber, it's Frosh. Frosh Goon, grab that win with your cunning charms. Fro will do Fro's best. Frosh gonna win. Who? Oh, I just saw that. Sending the happy and happy is not winning. If you set in Carla, you might have a chance, but there's no way happy's winning this. But that's fine. We don't have to win every match. Hex <laughs> seeds exclusive game already. I'm not doing it. Me neither. Cuteness has nothing to do with me. Even I have confidence in my own charm. That's right. Happy strong. I accept your challenge, Frosh. Fro thinks so too. There's no f way Frosh can lose. Rules are simple. Just ask the people of Mag Magnolia which of you is the cutest in a street interview. Magnolia is Happy's home. Is that really fair? No, you you do not understand how cute Frosh is. <laughs> well, I'm not worried. 
<laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Happy got obliterated. There's so many toki like so many votes on Froge, they had to extend the board down for him. Happy got what? Thirty one. Thirty two. Somewhere around there. Uh and Froch got maybe triple four times that amount. Froch is the winner. You did it. You did so well, Froch. <laughs> Rogue is giving Froch a hug. Happy looks def like morally defeated. That's one to zero. Mm. Not popular. Who cares what they say? When it comes to being blue, you're the strongest. How is that comforting? Come, come, come for, come for, comforting, come, comfort, comforting, comforting, comforting. I know this word. I know this word. My brain, my brain is not working. Why, brain, please? Com comforting, comforting. That's the word. I knew what it was. My brain was trying to figure out how to say it again. It's just if you're watching my channel, it's just gonna happen. I'm bad with words. Round two. I'm. I only speak one language, and I'm very bad with that language. Doesn't help with speech impediment and also reading disability. But eh, we'll throw those aside. Getting better with reading uh, after so many years of manga where you're not allowed. Still not good, but it's better. <laughs> Round two a shadow stepping contest against Rogue. <sighs> Whoever steps on the opponent's shadow first wins. You can do it, Rogue. Please put Gajio against him. Gajio would make the most sense. He's the black. What? The. The dark steel dragon, or whatever the he has the ability to use shadow, so it makes sense he could be able to control it at some sort. Rogue can control his shadow most likely. Leave this one to me. It was great. I was great at it. At this as a kid, Grace, I'm a rogue. Sama is a wizard who controls shadow. And Gray just realized that. Yeah. He's the rogue is the worst one to go up against. Begin. And Grace trying to step on it, and Rogue just keeps dodging it away. That's dirty. It's like I can't step on it at all. <laughs> Looks like it's my wind. I got your shadow. Gah. Before. <laughs> this this is amazing. Because she, she, Rogue can't do this. That is such a great way to outplay someone who can control their shadow. Is Gray, before Rogue steps on his shadow, he does ice make Froche. And the Froche ice sculpture is behind Gray. Which it gives the shadow of a uh, Froche. Whoa, I can't stop on that. That's a dirty trick. Now... And using that time, Grace stomps on his shadow. Um, Rogue is taken aback by that. That's really, that's really genius. Gray is victorious. I like how Urza and Sting are, Urza, Sting, and Minerva probably are all here just talking about this. That's one to one. Round three is against me. The game is a quiz. If it's about. Using your head, leave it to me. Well, it's better that you do it than Urza. Question one. What is Sabertooth's member Oga's full name? Pff, I would have never answered that because I didn't know Oga's last name. Oga Nanagia. Wow, you can, you can, uh, as far as that semen, it doesn't know any of this. Because it, for each panel, it's her not answering in time or really just having problems. 
Question two, what is Sabretooth's annual festival? The Tiger Tiger Food Festival. I remember that one. That was from the end of the fairy tale anime. The final season anime. Uh, where they show that off. Where Minerva beats them. Um... What was it again? Frozen. Um. Question three: What is Sabretooth's member Rufus's secret technique? Frozen. Frozen black lightning sword. <laughs> Lucy makes the most sense. She is wicked smart. The winner is Lucy. That's one to two. How'd you lose a quiz in Saber's favor? I'm sorry. You're incredible, Lucy-san. Yep. I used to be a reporter, you know. She was part of Sorcerer Weekly, right? That was the reporting studio. Let me do something real quick. Actually, I need to check something because now I'm noticing something. Okay. Yeah, it makes them up. She's wicked smart. What is this about my prime membership? Oh, it's a spam email. I'm almost done here because it seems like yeah I no longer get XP for it okay that's good to know which means oh I didn't mean to do that sorry I meant to turn off my TV if I can't get do that I don't need the Xbox on I had something booted up but it means I can connect this Sorry about that. Um, I had something low in the background, but apparently it no longer does something that I need it to do. Which is fine. That just means I have to grind XP a different way now. Okay. Round 4 is the Ian contest against me. No one's winning. Minerva is winning this. It's going to be a 2 versus 2, and then it's going to be probably not 2 versus uh, sting right that's how it's gonna end up here he is milady field of expertise I accept your challenge Urza you don't stand a chance Urza try not to eat too much all I need as motivation as long as I imagine them as sweets I can eat as much as I want begin these dishes are huge like giant burgers like giant pots and we see Urza probably made it through, what, like 10 to 12 plates. But Minerva went through, like, 30 plates. And Urza, like, just passed out on the table. And Minerva looks like she could still continue. Game, it's Milady's Overwhelming victory. That makes it 2-2. Two to two. That wasn't even a mouthful, you, you monster. How did you think you'd win in the first place? Give me before we move on. Who's the person in Levy's whole group? You had you had. I really, I really need to write down fairy tale members. Yeah, Levy. With Jet and Droy. Droy might be the best because he's always carrying food. I would see him being able to even beat her. Maybe not beat Milady. Milady is pretty strong. Or Minerva is pretty strong when it comes to Ian. 
Otherwise, let's keep going. Round five is the final game, arm wrestling. If you can beat me, it's your win. So it is, like I just predicted, Natsu versus Sting. It made no sense for Natsu or Sting to not be in this. What the hell? So it comes down to a test of strength in the end. <laughs> I don't feel like losing. Ready? Go. It's like at a standstill at first. Like hand to hand just stuck in the middle. And then Natsu starts putting heat into it. Starts pushing Sting his way. Oh, white power, purge these flames. And now Natsu's going back the other way. <laughs> Fire dragon, arm wrestle power. God, <laughs> Natsu like puts it back the other way. Sting Sama, have you n nothing left? White dragon, arm wrestle power. And goes the other way again. <laughs> Even closer to like get, knocking Natsu out. Whoa, Natsu, Natsu son, hang in there. Oh no, this is not. Holy shit. Oh my god. That's so funny. We're going to talk about that here in a second. <laughs> you see Natsu yell, Fire Dragon Kings! Arm wrestle power and sting. There's like sh he's sweating because he's he knows he's lost at this point. And Natsu puts the full force into the like <laughs> the arm wrestle, and with that one single power, he <laughs> he blows up half the guild. Remember how they just talked about last chapter that they just keep destroying the guild? How would they keep a library if the guild just keeps getting destroyed? And the, the one chapter later, the guild gets destroyed. He trashed the guild. And Sting is just like, just out of it on the ground. Way to go, Natsu-kun. <laughs> As promised, we'll lend you the great study Hall of Saber. Thank you. Well, on one condition. Hey, didn't we just win the game? It's simple. I want you to bring G Jalal too. Jalal? That's the end of the chapter. God damn it, that's the end of the chapter. We got a lot to talk about. Uh, this is a longer video, but it's this. I had fun with this chapter. It also took up me a little bit to jump into the chapter. I thought I was lagging for a second. Oh, so, so, let me just straight out give this a 9 out of 10. Because it's, it's so goddamn funny that one chapter after Makra of saying, how could we keep a library if the guild hall just kept getting destroyed? Which makes so much sense. The guild hall gets destroyed with an arm wrestle contest. The guild hall just gets trashed so often. I'm just curious why. There has to be a reason he wants Jalal to go in there. Maybe it's... My one of my, my only idea right now, and maybe I'll come up with more when we talk more about this chapter, is maybe the library isn't just a library. Like, maybe it's like a labyrinth of bookshelves and... Use him as direction. But then you could just bring a, uh, a saber tooth member in. Which would make no sense. Maybe there's something in there that. Would help. Gajil. Like. Jalal. In some sort. Like something that would help Jalal. With a group. Of fighting. There has to be something in here for Jalal. Otherwise, there's no, no reason for it. I know for a fact that... Um, uh, I can't think of his name. The person who writes this manga. This in Eden Zero. I know he said eventually Jalal would come back to the story. And be 
not main source, but be along with the adventure for a while. I knew it was going to happen. I just didn't know how long it'd take. We've been in between arcs for a while. We technically started it last chapter because they're on... Uh, Diabolus is looking for the power of Athena. And they're looking for information on the gold dragon. Which is fine with me. Because... Um, some might, some people were saying that they should just go right after Ignea. But I'm guessing Ignea will only become a part of the series again, like Frontline, when we know his plan. Once we know his plan and it's getting ready to come to fruition, then we'll probably see him. Or his plan has already started, then we'll see him. I'm guessing this is the midpoint that the gold... gold Gold God Dragon is the next target. But even then, we still have the Alchemy Guild to get deal with. I'm saying that because there's no way... Because they seem more of just a... Also, God Serena. God Serena did was so well in the last arc. I would love to see his po full power. And then they consider these... The sisters. What are the sisters' names? For the um, si the Signero Sig Signero sisters and the guild leader, um, and the guild, the guild master of the alchemy guild, even stronger than uh, God Serena. Th that makes me even more curious. The God Dragon. Fernies, right? I I really I did not do good. I put re zero right after this. Um I should have put that on twenty six and put uh another fairy tale chapter. Because I don't think I have anything before this either. I do have room on page twenty three. Maybe I'll put more fairy tale uh, hundred requests on chap chapter twenty three. Yeah, that should be fine. Yeah, that should absolutely be fine. Um, so we'll write down more fairy tale members. Can you guys tell me if there's any guild members I should write down? I know I absolutely should write down like Sting, Rogue. Not Sting and Rogue because I can remember their names mostly like Yukino, um, uh, Minerva. I should probably write down Droid, Jet, like members of fairy tale that I just cannot ever remember their names because who knows if they ever become more front even if they show up it'd be great to call them out by names if you guys have any suggestions i just know it's something that's really funny when sting says as promised we'll lend you the great study hall of saber and urza's like thank you in the background you can see makarov in his chair his wheelchair just Hands on his head and he's sulking because this is not going to be fun to repair. He's not happy with this. But he can't really do anything. He he has... Oh, I can't say he has no magic power. Because the ghost... The former member of Fairy Tail, Who ended up being a ghost dragon either. Um, ended up taking over Makara's body and used magic of the sorts... So I don't know if Makarov has magic or if the magic he has is so limited or even uh, the magic is so locked and chained within Makarov that he just cannot use it anymore. Even so, Makarov can't walk. Um, old age, the repercussions of the the war against um uh, against um Zeroth and them like I could get why like this would probably be the best form to show him have his magic back even for a tiny bit just to show his buff strong form help him rebuild the guild even if that's all he can do I'd be perfectly fine with it 
But I can see them never showing off again or showing off very briefly. Like, he can use his magic, but it limits his body entirely. Like, he is such a... Makarov is on the scale of, I really want to know more about his limitations to magic if he has no magic at all. I know they talked a little bit about it, but I really do want to know if his magic is totally gone or if it's just locked away. Or if it is there, he just doesn't use it because it could absolutely kill him in the instant. Um... I'm very curious why Jalal needs to be brought into the library. That's a whole different conversation. Um, the five matches, great, great way because each one was more was more designed for Sabretooth to win. The only one that was really not designed for Sabretooth to win is the contests were a popularity contest, but it's Frosh. He was going to win anyways. Carla had a chance, if anything, but Carla probably wouldn't win. Second round, the Shadow uh, step in one makes a lot of sense. Uh, same thing, Sabretooth would have won if he could step on Frocious Shadow. Um, but technically, that wasn't Grey Shadow, it was the Shadow of the Ice Sculpture, but Grey Shadow was still in it. There's technically technicalities with that that you could go off on um then the third one with the quiz about uh the quiz about Sabretooth and you could know couldn't answer it all but Lucy was perfectly able to answer it and then to have the eating contest which we know the Tiger Tiger uh food festival whatever uh Minerva will win there's probably no one that can challenge her like really beat her because she is just a monster when it comes to that stuff. And then to have a arm wrestle that just ends up with the guild hall being destroyed. The chapter after them saying the guild hall always gets destroyed. Why would we keep live? Why would we be able to have books available? Um, I'm going to come back to J Jalal. Jalal, Jalal, Jalal. It has, there has to be something in there that Sabretooth, maybe there's something in there that's hidden that Sabretooth can't find. Like, maybe because Sabretooth's master technically died, um, that maybe not all the secrets of the library is known to, like, Sabretooth, like, to Sting, to Rogue, to Minerva, and they need someone to help find what's hidden away in the library and Jalal would be an expert with all types of magic like that. Or I it could just be something simple as there's something in there that Jalal needs to see for his own eyes that could help him. But I don't know because from the library opens up so many like I talked about this earlier on, like chapters ago, that they have an idea how they can end the dragons. Like, they have a idea. The creator has an idea how the dragons can end. And he could end the, the manga right there. He doesn't know if he wants to continue the manga after dragons. Because he could. And that's the thing. Is the library could open up so many doors. And so many possibilities for the manga to go past the dragons. Like, you could hit at... I, I keep bringing up this because so many mangas do it. Like, they could hint at something that the god dragons are lock and key to a system. Once they're all defeated, it awakens something. Or just have some... They could have... Find out some other creatures on one of the... Right, there's one continent left that we haven't seen, right? I might be remembering that wrong. But having creatures or... Stuff like that, like, we could have such... The library could bring up so much knowledge about the world. Like, it could do incredible world building, but it could also sculpt the future for Fairy Tale in its entirety, where we go from here. Fairy Tale is about the guild, and it's, like, the whole guild travels and quests in that. And the, the library, the greatest library on the continent, could 
build the future for the the guild or hint towards stuff that could happen past the god dragons like this and even if it doesn't it only hints at stuff that happens during the god dragon quest igneous plan if it goes to fruition it could cause the world to just go into chaos even if they beat ignia but the plan still goes through that could start a whole new event for the fairy tale guild and guild guilds around the world to just kind of uh try to battle against so there's so much room for the fairy tale world and sculpture just to build on itself and go further and further i'm really hoping this does something along the lines of we get more information maybe we find out more about Thea. who knows i'm just happy that we're gonna get jalal back jalal is probably one of my favorite characters he's been like that um i'm gonna say this right now if anybody's made it to this point um what's the 12th by the end of the month or begin of february i should have out my first video reaction and we're going back and watching an edilis uh fairy tale i do watch alongs where i do a timer only and then people can watch along with me um by going to a certain site but i'm gonna be reacting and reviewing edilis the arc because i've never seen edilis and they just keep bringing up stuff from Atlas that I need to now see Atlas. It's the only arc I've skipped the fairy tale. Every other episode I watched. Um, just because I thought it was a filler arc. And that was back when I actually skipped stuff that was filler arcs. Uh, the other series that had filler arcs that I skipped. I went back and watched. Fairy tale is the only series I have never went back and watched. Um, so by the end of the month or February. Beginning of February. We should have the first video out. Where I do three or four episodes of the Edelus arc. And like I said. I know how it begins. Uh, and I know how it. Well. I know how they get back to Earthland. Like the final episode. That's pretty much it. The first episode of how it happens. How it happens. I really don't know exactly how it happens. And then the last episode. When they get back to Earthland. Um. So that will come out later. Otherwise, this is... I'm going to give this 9.5 out of 10. I'm changing it to 9.5 out of 10. I'm very curious what you guys are thoughts on Jalal and all this. Maybe just the world in general. Ideas about the dragons. Anything. If you want to come down below. Otherwise, um... Have a good morning. Have a good afternoon. Have a good night. Wherever you are, just have a good day. Hopefully, i see you guys next video. And like I said... I'm really hoping this builds the world even more than it already has. Otherwise, really, hopefully I do see you guys in the next video, and peace.